Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, just the other day, we brought you an unboxing of the new XFX Triple X Edition 6950 one gigabyte card. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the full review. That means we're gonna take a look at the specs, the price, the heat, the temps, and at the end of the day, whether it's worth your money as the end user. Some of the essential features you're gonna to wanna to know about this new XFX 6951 gigabyte card, the XXX edition, by the way, is that it comes overclocked out of the box. It has an 830 megahertz core clock coming right out of the box. As far as your stream processors go, you get 1,408 stream processing units. The effective memory clock on this is a total 1,300 megahertz effective bandwidth. You also get one gigabyte of DDR5 memory and a 256-bit memory interface. Like usual, the card sports DirectX 11, it sports the OpenGL 3.2, and it has a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600. As we take a look at the rear I.O., you can see the rear I.O. has two standard DVI ports, it has two mini display ports, and an HDMI port, which not only provides your video, but also provides your sound in 7.1 HD audio as well, if you so choose. So at the end of the day, what's the breakdown? Well, we'll start off with price. This card's coming to market. You can get it for about $239 with a discount coupon. Don't quote me on prices because some people have sales. Now, as far as the card's heat goes, the car was running about 10 degrees above ambient temperature. In my lab, I had it running at about 94 Celsius under full load. The only drawback to the car that I can see at all is that it does make noise. If you use two of these in crossfire, they actually get extremely loud. The dual fan design actually keeps the car running very cool, but it's very, very noisy as well. So that's something you might want to take into consideration though. So what do you get? The one gigabyte of RAM on the card works just fine. Most games nowadays are only addressing one gigabyte of RAM in any case. So if you have a 22 inch or smaller monitor, this card is geared perfectly towards your alleyway. It'll work with other monitors, but any 22 inch monitor and below, this card should be able to use its full potentials, full blown out and run for you just great. You get a card that runs pretty cool, has good driver support, plays all of your games, plays resolutions up to 2660 to 1600. It's available everywhere on the internet and it has the capabilities of doing crossfire mode and all the other things in iFinian stuff that you get when you buy an AMD version card. So at the end of the day, I gotta say that this is a pretty hot product. If you're using multi-monitor technology and you're gonna be using multi-monitors, then maybe you wanna you know, consider getting the two gigabyte version. But if you're only using a single monitor, the one gigabyte version is a solid hot product here on motherboards.org and a good card for the gamer.